Well, we continue to follow new developments in the case that captured the attention of the Capital Region a year ago this week. Local physician assistant Philip Rabati was found stabbed to death at his new Scotland home. Jacob Klein is charged in the killing, and police say he had a relationship with Rabati's wife years ago. Stella Porter joins us in studio with an update on where the case stands a year later. Rachel, in a filing, the DA's office claims Klein voluntarily told police when he was arrested that he respected law enforcement but wanted to die by police. Right now, the defense is trying to get several pieces of that evidence from the arrest tossed out. It's a case that captured the attention of the capital region. The gruesome murder made national headlines a year ago this week. Right now, the defense and prosecution are waiting for a judge to rule as the defense tries to get evidence thrown out. Mark Bettero is the Manhattan-based attorney defending Jacob Klein. In court papers, he claims there are major issues with the arrest warrant. He argues the evidence collected from Klein's car when he was arrested should not be allowed in court. Bettero tells us all of the statements made by Klein after his arrest, the gun that was discovered in his vehicle and the clothes seized from him at the time of his arrest should be suppressed. The prosecution could look to use the gun and clothing to connect Klein to video evidence from the scene. Statements Klein made could help the prosecution. Klein has ties to the Albany area but lived in Virginia. He was arrested near the Virginia-Tennessee border days after the murder. Klein is accused of killing 35-year-old Philip Rabati at his New Scotland home. Rabati failed to show up for his job as a physician assistant at St. Peter's. Police say he was found bound and stabbed to death on the floor of his garage on April 13th of last year. In their filing, the DA's office argues the arrest warrant was thorough and that it clearly connected Klein to the crime. The office told me today they won't be commenting on the specifics of the case right now. Rachel. Stella, thank you.